feel safety. My heart is always in the pavement. Mm, I've never been a say, but maybe that'll change. Paradise ain't fine. Hey everyone, I'm Paige Lawrenson here at the Aeropostale Beach House, joined by the beautiful and talented Justine Skye. So good to talk to you tonight. So I wanted to know how you kind of got involved with Aeropostale and how this collaboration kind of came about. Well, they reached out to me and they told me what they were doing. I thought it was amazing that they're you just you know just making an effort to, to make a change in this world and in the environment by doing an eco-friendly clothing line. Just like really, I guess, bringing making the youth aware of what's going on in our climate. And I think that that's amazing. And I think that more people need to know about what's going on. 100%. Do you feel like social media is kind of bringing more awareness to climate change amongst the millennial generation? Absolutely. Absolutely. And I think that with collaborations through fashion, through music, and more influencers and celebrities that are speaking up about climate change and just the pollution that's going on in our ocean and the air, it's just, um, it's just making people more aware. Yeah. And, and I feel like that's what needs to happen. It's continuously happening. Um, especially with all the disasters going on around the world, there's still not clean water in Flint, and like it's just like the more that people who have large platforms are able to speak up about these issues, it will, it will like urge change. What is something about this new line that really inspires you? What's like a piece from it, or? Um, well, I think that I mean denim is cool and it's a classic thing, and I think that the. the them incorporating like recycled denim and is just very like eco-friendly and yeah. just like dope so yeah. amazing so she's an amazingly talented singer how would you describe your sound I guess I would describe my sound as R&B I mean I mean that's a generic like right. definition of what it is but I feel like it's very Brooklyn it's very Brooklyn. I mean, I, I grew up in East Flatbush in downtown Brooklyn, and, and I, I come from a very, um, my family's Jamaican, so I incorporate that into my music as well, too, especially in the new music that's coming. And I'm really just excited. I don't like to like put myself in a box of a genre. Um, I think I just make great music, and that's I just want to make people feel great. Amazing. So can we expect to see an EP anytime soon? Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm working on it. It's almost done. So you just did a stripped down acoustic set. Do you prefer an acoustic intimate environment or a massive stage with more production? Honestly, it's hard to say which I prefer because they're both extremely different and I love them both. Like I love being able to just sing with the guitar and just really just experiment and play around because it's like every time I perform acoustically something different happens whether I, I switch the song up and just whatever I'm feeling in that moment because it's just there and when I'm on stage it's like I guess more of a, a put together kind of a approach and um, just feeling the, the energy from the crowd just like screaming at you screaming every single word at you that's also an amazing feeling that you can't but it's really hard to explain. So when you're in the studio and you go about writing a song, do you start lyrically or more with a beat and the sound of it? It's so funny because I was just explaining this to someone <laughs> yesterday, but I, um, I guess it starts, it depends on um, who I'm working with. If it's just a producer, sometimes they'll have, most of the time they'll have like a, a folder of beats already prepared that they had in mind, like when they, like they have, it'll be like the Justine Sky folder and it's just a, a bunch of beats that they already had that they think would be a great fit for me. And sometimes they'll just create something from scratch right there. And so if the beat's already prepared, then I'll like go into the booth and I'll like just freestyle really. Like whether it's words or just melodies, just getting that emotion, whatever it is that I was feeling right then and there and putting that into the song and then adding the words later. Um, but if they're creating, if everything's being made from scratch, I'll write as they're writing basically. Amazing. It's definitely a creative process. Yeah. Who would you say is your biggest musical inspiration? My biggest musical inspiration. There's so many people because I feel like I feel like being in New York, it's like a, a melting pot of just culture and sound. So there's so many people that influence me. I feel like currently someone who's influencing me right now is Missy Elliott. When it comes to the, my writing, 
and her, her cadence and like the melodies choices that she chooses and so I try to to pull from her right now like while I'm in the studio. So when you're writing a song do you draw typically from personal experiences or collaborate? I draw from personal experiences mostly. Um, I try to not work with too many writers because I like to I need to tell them what's going on in my life and we collaborate on that because sometimes I'm not able to express exactly how I'm feeling into like to confine my emotions into a sentence exactly. and so that's what I, 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 I love to collaborate with people so they can help me form those words how would you describe your personal style I would describe my style as just free honestly and not and not in free as like I don't care because it's just like it's really based on my emotion and I for the most part I want to be comfortable but I know that fashion isn't always comfortable and sometimes you got to make sacrifices but that's the nice thing about LA though is yeah. you can kind of wear sneakers and like joggers or tracksuit pants and oh, like make it cute and yeah. trendy honestly I found out I feel like this is the secret to just like wearing whatever you want is just accessories like if you put accessories on like a bunch of accessories on and sweatpants then it's a look it is <laughs> yeah. totally a look where can we find you on social media uh, you can find me everywhere twitter instagram facebook at justine sky perfect thank you so much for joining me everyone go give her a follow a like and check out her music bye guys what's up guys it's justine sky and you've just been buzzed